Yo, what's going on guys, Kultimush back at it with another video, and in this video, I want to go over the Halo 5 Forge system requirements that have been recently released. Now, some people don't even know that Halo 5's Forge mode is coming to Windows 10 PCs. No, it's not the full Halo experience that we've been looking for, it's not the Master Chief Collection, it's not the entire Halo 5 game, but it is Halo 5's Forge mode, you can mess around with your friends, and I've always liked the Forge mode in Halo games, and best of all, this is going to be absolutely free. And they've released the system requirements, and to me, this does give us an idea of if Halo were to ever come to PC, what the system requirements would be. And I'm talking about a full Halo game, because this is Halo 5's entire Forge level creation experience. It's not just the game being developed exclusively for PC, it is the Halo 5 engine at the end of the day, so I want to go over the system requirements. Microsoft has released minimum requirements, recommended requirements, which is for 1080p and 60 frames per second, and then they've also released ultra requirements, which is for 4K at 60 FPS. So let's get right into this. For minimum CPU requirement, you're looking at an Intel Core i5 at 2.3 GHz or an AMD equivalent. An i5 at 2.3 GHz is equivalent to what a lot of laptops have. So that's not very demanding at all. For recommended, you're looking at a Core i5 3570K at 3.4 GHz or an AMD equivalent. The i5 3570K was the Ivy Bridge CPU. That's actually the CPU I was running for a long time, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are still running this CPU, but if you have a 3570K, you probably overclocked it too. So yeah, nothing out of the ordinary for recommended. For Ultra, you're looking at an Intel Core i7 4770K at 3.4 GHz. Now this is for 4K at 60 FPS, so yes, while an i7 4770K is very high end, if you're looking to game at 4K and 60 FPS, you probably have something like this, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. For minimum, GPU requirement, you're looking at a GeForce GTX 650 Ti, that's pretty low end. If I were to compare that to an AMD GPU, something like the 260 or the 360, most of you guys, if you built a PC in the last three to four years, you probably have something at least as good as the 650 Ti, if not a lot better. Recommended, you're looking at the GTX 970, that's comparable to the RX 480, so that's actually kind of high end for recommended. That is 1080p and 60 FPS, but at the end of the day, this is Halo 5. I don't know if it's getting a lot of additions as far as graphical capability on PC. Hopefully we do get a lot of graphics options on the PC version, but at the end of the day, this is a free-to-play game. This is just the Forge mode. I don't know how much effort they're really putting into it, and for recommended being a GTX 970, that is kind of high-end. But we'll see soon enough when this game releases. For Ultra, you're looking at a GTX 980 Ti, which isn't that crazy. I mean, it is 4K. Again, if you're gaming at 4K, you probably have something pretty comparable to the 980 Ti. If you have a 1070, the 1070 is comparable to the 980 Ti. So yeah, that's actually not that crazy for 4K and 60 FPS. For RAM, you're looking at 8 gigabytes of RAM as minimum, 12 gigabytes of RAM as recommended, that's a bit high, and 16 gigabytes of RAM for Ultra, that's 4K 60 FPS. And then probably the most surprising, remember that this is just the Forge mode of Halo 5, it's gonna be 40 gigabytes. That's what they're saying, maybe it'll be a little bit smaller, but it seems like with every Microsoft game that's been coming to PC, they've been absolutely huge. Quantum Break was gigantic, Gears of War Ultimate Edition was like 50 gigabytes, and that's an Xbox 360 game. I don't know what it is about these games, but these games are massive. But yeah, at the end of the day, I guess that's not too big of a deal. I mean, 40 gigabytes, most people have one terabyte hard drives at the very least these days. But if you're the kind of person you want to download this game and you're just running like a 240 gigabyte SSD, well, yeah, that's probably an issue for you. That's why having a mechanical drive for all your games is a pretty good idea. But I digress, I'm interested to check out the Halo 5 Forge mode, hopefully Hopefully this paves the way for a more complete Halo experience to eventually come to PC. I know we all want the Master Chief Collection, we've been asking for that for years. Hopefully it'll happen soon, we've got Halo Wars 2 coming to PC next year. We've got this Halo 5 Forge coming out on September 8th. Hopefully Halo 6 will see a PC release, and I honestly think it will. Pretty much every Xbox game is coming out on Windows 10 and Xbox, so I do think it's a foregone conclusion that we will see Halo at some point on PC. And I know we did get Halo 1 and 2 on PC, and those were good at the time, but come on, we need a newer game, and hopefully by the end of 2017, we will see it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Are you gonna check out Halo 5 Forge? You do have to be running Windows 10 for it. You know, with Microsoft releasing all of these games on Windows 10, I do think it's a good idea to hop on the Windows 10 train. Some of you guys probably don't give a crap about any of these Microsoft games, so for you, Windows 10 isn't that essential, but I'm interested to check out Halo 5 Forge, Forza Horizon 3, Gears 4. So in my opinion, for gamers, Windows 10 looks very enticing if you don't have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.